Christ. The, the crippled nature, the nature of sin in our lives causes us to change, to deform even sometimes our physical appearance or it paralyzes the spirit man. The inner man was created in the image of God. And when that is uh, paralyzed, what we see then is the outward manifestation of what has happened inside because of the sin nature. The Bible says when sin has grown of first start, it produces a fruit and that fruit is called death. Mm -hmm. What you see people doing, especially in their teenage years, you know, going astray, doing all kinds of things, is not understanding that this is a seed that the enemy is sowing, hoping to get a result in the end. Mm -hmm. It looks cool, it looks fine. I mean, when someone has energy, they can do drugs day in, day out. But there's a day that the body will begin to tell them that, oh no, the number of years don't allow, no, no longer agree or accept what you have been doing. People come, they go from one nightclub to another. People sleep around and they say, it's my body. You have no right to tell me what to do. The Holy Spirit taught me something that was very important about you know, fornication and even adultery. How these things are set to cut off your life expectancy. Amen. It is not, people don't understand that you say, oh, no, I'm free. We, we, we get along. We have just agreed. We'll just do our thing and move on. There is poison in everything that the enemy suggests, although it looks so innocent and beautiful. Amen. This is why every relationship has to be brought before the Lord. Amen. And so, Mephibosheth, because of his family, because some of us are in addiction, not because we chose to. We were born into it, and that was the normal thing. Mm -hmm. Well, others made a choice. Some of us were initiated through rape, molestation, into a promiscuous life. But that's the paralysis that the enemy brings into our lives. When that paralysis comes, there is a king who's beckoning us to come to his banqueting table still in our paralysis. Say, come ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I'll give you rest. Because of the nature of the job that I used to do as a news reporter, I would talk to prostitutes and stuff like that. People had problems with that, but I never had a problem because I always saw potential in a person. I did not understand everything. But when they opened up to you, they would tell you the pain mm -hmm. that they were going through. Amen. It was not a delight. Amen. It was a bondage. You talk to an addict who has recovered and they tell you it was not an easy journey, it was not an easy life. I was looking around for the next fix, just looking around for everywhere, probably I might find some crack somewhere. That life that has no focus. <coughs> and it's a bondage and that is a paralysis of the spirit. But this is what we hear from what our brother was teaching that the banqueting table of the master. Amen. It is not only that just the banqueting table. The Bible says God delights to give us the kingdom. Amen. He delights to give us the kingdom. And even for, like, uh, again, as a counselor, as a pastor, each time I, I do deliverance with most women, say, by the way, pastor, or... Oh, we discovered it at one stage. The Lord said to me, when you do deliverance of people, get them baptized in the Holy Spirit. And then sometimes we say, okay, get baptized. And it just, they want to say, Pastor, something is holding back my tongue. Mm -hmm. I can't speak. I can sense the tongues have come into my mouth, but I something is saying, I'm tongue-tied. Amen. And guess what? 
Half the time, mm -hmm. you say, did you, did you have an abortion? Say, oh, yeah. And we repent of that, and the tongue is loosened. Amen. And they begin to speak in tongues. To tell you that the, because to the Holy Spirit, you can lie to me, but you can't lie to the Holy Spirit. Right. 